Ah, the magisterial Australian wilderness, home to hundreds of unique and marvellous species. The marsupials and parrots are undoubtedly Australian highlights. But even more peculiar are the creatures we will be exploring today, the elusive iris participants. Debilitated by the spring semester's finals, the iris crew must endure a long and treacherous journey before arriving at their wintering grounds. Once there, the days consist mostly of eating and trying not to die while chasing fairy wrens. Iris crews have fascinating foraging behaviors, and they'll often travel in packs in search of food. Here, this group of young, inexperienced Irish students is learning to hunt for Tim Tams for the first time. The experienced grad students will show the younglings how to hunt for the first couple weeks, at least until they are ready to Tim Tam slam on their own. Having observed the grad students for a while, this brave young student feels confident enough to forage on his own. Not quick or strong enough yet to take on Tim Tam hunting, he resorts to scavenging for oat bars. He has found a nice cluster, but has to pick through the apricot flavored ones because they're disgusting. Eureka! He has found a chocolate oat bar and will be satisfied for a second breakfast. Although the Irish student is a tasty cheese specialist, it must sometimes compete with other species for food during its days off. These frightened first-year Irish students are no match for this fearless Crimson Rosella. Due to their diverse background, the thermoregulatory properties of the students show tremendous individual variance. Nevertheless, the group has devised a method to ensure warmth during cold times. This technique requires a tremendous amount of coordination, and those incapable of it may not make it through the rough Australian winters. And now, the weekly ritual of the Iris crew, the trivia night. Although seemingly unimportant to the untrained eye, the Iris flock gains invaluable resources during this time. Hats. Much like hyenas, the Iris students have a convoluted matriarchal social system. Here, the dominant female leads the iris flock in a trivia night quarrel. Riled up after having not won any hats, the iris pod must attempt to break a third place dispute. Ah, this female is a strong one and a good leader, marking her territory by any means, especially cheating at arm wrestling. Alas, with their stress relieved and their data collected, the Irish students must once more migrate back for a rough fall semester. Much like the Black Pole Warbler, these Irish students will not migrate north the same way that they migrated south. First, they must indulge their senses in New Zealand. Then, satisfied with their astounding winter, the Irish students brace themselves for the final leg of the trip.